Hello future developers, welcome to another tutorial ABCD. Uh, today we'll be doing um, text block, doing some analyzation of text. So to in Anaconda, your Anaconda prompts, type this, Conda install, and then this text as you see here. So we are going to wait for it to download um, these packages. Okay, so um, let's wait for everything to load and then we'll start our projects. Okay, so here just type Y for yes. So we're going to install this. Then we're going to wait for it to install download and install these packages okay so once that is done we are going to start analyzing some text um, using text blog okay so i'm going to type jupyter notebook i'll open my jupyter notebook and then i'm going to launch it so once it's launched i'm going to click on new and then click on python 3 and then we can start doing our text blog um, analyzing text using text blog so from since we already downloaded, we are going to import the model or the library. So from text blob, import text blob. And then from, okay, so um, in order to save that, I just pasted this here. So we need these uh, libraries and models to work. So I think I misplaced something. Okay, so from text blob, so be careful with how this is typed, okay. So I'm going to cancel this uh, because this wouldn't work. So I'm going to cut this out. And then paste it here so look at the so from text blob okay so small letters text blob import text blob so text blob here is caps so the text the t is caps and the blob the b is caps so i'm going to run it so once it's run uh, let's look at piper and this is the documentation for um text blob and these are the features of what you can do okay, with text block so spell correction so we are going to do most of them Sorry, in this lesson. Okay. So I'm going to type my word. So I'm going to do the first. So I'm going to create a variable called word one. And then um, since I already have um, experimented with the project in PyCharm, so I'm just going to copy um, the text from PyCharm and then paste it here so that uh, we save some time. Okay. So that said, I'm going to copy my PyCharm projects. That's the text. Okay. So our first project is going to do, okay, let me just paste this here. So in quotation comments, I'll paste the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. And I'll create another variable called my word two equals, and then quotation comments, and I'm going to paste in it some text from my PyCharm project. You can decide to type anything here. Okay. Um, okay, so the food at KFC was great. Okay, so let me just copy this. I'm going to paste it here. So remember that um, the Jupyter Notebook file will be given to you so that you can upload it into your Jupyter environment and then um, look at the documentation. I've actually doc done documentation on the project. So after this video, I'll do documentation on the project. Okay, so what I'll do is I'm creating an output, a variable output one. Okay, and I'm going to type text block, text block. Then I'm going to put the first variable, so this variable here. So I can just copy it, control C, and then paste it inside. I can copy this again, control C, control V. Then let me change it to two. Then I'll change here to also two. Okay. Uh, let's run it. And then I'm going to have to um, <clears throat> print the sentiment. So we are going to do um, sentimental analysis. So let's print that for the first one. So I'm going to bracket and then I'll put output, output uh, one dot sentiment, 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 okay. So sentiment. So what the sentiment is going to do is it's going to print out um, does the polarity and then the subject uh, subjectivity. So when we say polarity is like the positiveness or negativeness of um, let's say a statement, and the subjectivity um, handles the uh, let's say the beliefs and then um, the opinions of the um, individual. So we are going to identify that in this text 
Okay, so the first one we want to identify is um, that's from like the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Okay, so let's run it and see the output. Okay, so the sentiment um, polarity. Okay, so the sentiment. Okay, polarity is zero points in this this number, and the sub sub subjectivity is zero point seventy five. So if you should observe, okay, so um, the polarity starts with um, numbers ranging from, let me see, let me see, um, I did it in um, PyCharm, so I'm going PyCharm and then I did some documentation on it, so, okay, so the polarity score is a float within the range minus 1.0 and then 1.0, and then the subjectivity is from 0, 0.0 and then 1.0. So with the subjectivity, 0, 0.0 is more objective. So objective is um, more of um, less objective is more of the um, opinion of uh, let's say the public, and then the subjectivity is the express or the feeling of or belief of the person. Okay, so the individual's belief or uh, feeling. Okay, so uh, depending on the range. Okay, so when your subjectivity is between 0, 0.0 to these uh, figures. Um, should mean the person is objective and then when it's uh, 1.0 means the person is very subjective so you can see here the output here you have the subjectivity to be 0 0.75 so meaning it's um, between this okay so it's more of uh, objective okay. so let's go back to jupyter notebook where's my jupyter notebook jupyter notebook okay Okay, and you can see our polarity and then the subjectivity. So now the next thing we have to do, let's try printing them separately. So let's say we want to print only the polarity. So what we can do is just type print into brackets. Uh, just type. So let me just put um, polarity equals. Okay, and then I'll put. Uh, let's say I want to find the polarity for this the output two, so I'll just put output output two of the spelling is correct output two dot sentiment sentiment then dot polarity polarity. Okay, so let's run it and see if there are no errors. Okay, so our polarity is one point zero for um. Our output too. So that's our output too. Should be this word. Okay, the food at KFC was was very great. Okay, so 1.0. So depending on the range, it it will, it will so 1.0 could mean so 1.0 should mean uh, positive. Let's check and see. 1.0 should mean uh, positive. Uh, so let's see the range. Okay, so 1.0 should be positive. Then you can do same if you want only the subjectivity. You can just let's just copy it and then Control C and then paste it here. Control V and then let's change it to subjectivity. Subjectivity and then let's run it. Okay, so this is the subject. Oh, sorry, let me change it to subjectivity. Well, let me just do subjectivity, subjectivity. Okay, I'm going to run it again. Okay. Okay, so next, let's see what we can do here. Let's, um, let's do some simple exercises. Okay, we're using the test block. So test block also can be used uh, just as the way we use the normal Python. So you can make things uppercase, lowercase, and the likes. So let's say 